welcome to my channel welcome to this vlog please subscribe if you haven't already i am getting ready for what i think is going to be the most perfect day and um i'm like you know what i'll actually vlog today uh, it's wednesday first of march happy new month i'm so excited um you know like even as i say today is going to be the most perfect day i won't lie i'm just like a bit 50 50 okay not 50 50 it's just maybe there's some 10 percent that is just a bit scared uh because last week i was like i'm going to have the most perfect week and i ended up having maybe one of my worst weeks um this year so far or whatever uh but you know since i'm not motivated by fear all the time I'm just trying to say today is going to be a perfect day and actually trust that it will despite how last week turned out you know just trying to not always correlate you know bad things and just be like oh you know last week this happened and then it's just a whole a whole cycle of just you know negative energy but I was like you know what today it's just started out perfect i wake up i woke up early before my alarm you know i listen to this podcast it's called the baggage reclaim sessions it's definitely a podcast i enjoy uh because of the topics that i discussed on there i feel like they're very they're very true to me and the things that i'm usually interested in and just kind of sometimes wanting to get a perspective on maybe how i act the way i act sometimes instantly remembers a tiktok um anyway so there's that podcast and then i also listen that it's kind of in a similar family though it's hosted by a professional it's, it's called therapy for black girls but uh in case you listen to either i want to just say or rather echo something that the host for therapy for black girls like something she says she's like listening to that podcast is not a substitute for therapy so it's nice to listen to them whatever whatever but always remember the importance of actually getting professional help if that's something you need so that's that um for a moment today i thought i would catch the sunrise but then it dawned on me a bit too late but i'll show you what i managed to capture even though last week was i mean what it was it was nice in the sense of like at least i got to try out some ice cream i really like um you know just had great conversations with friends so it wasn't all bad today the plan is to go to hero um I'm meeting my friends so we'll do probably like an early dinner and i'm excited but tell me do you think i'll actually get a sushi roll and if i do will i get the same one that i did last time i mean of course i've been revising the menu um but then i'm just so torn <laughs> i'm just like you know like the way you can just see the condiments or accompaniments and whatever and you're like okay these are things that are close to my test profile so i've seen like a sushi roll that i really enjoy along that family but then i'm just like am i in my sushi roll era like because i feel like sometimes i do have phases because there's a time I was obsessed with steak and mashed potatoes and then now I'm like is it sushi roll era like I don't know but I'll try also it will be my friend's first time tasting seafood if she actually follows through with that so I'm excited I feel like I recruit people into eating seafood because I love seafood so much so it's nice that I'm doing some good work in this world you know um yeah so just going to prepare for work and then i'll catch you later um yeah and i guess that's pretty much the longest intro you've had to sit through so it feels like the end of an era the last time that we'll be together might sneak up on us overnight Finding where we belong You never know when we'll say goodnight For the last time So while you're here I'll waste no tears On a wishing we had more time 
Then just grip it tightly. <laughs> but if you're not into it, it's okay. It's not me. <laughs> you know, I can't put the whole thing in my mouth. Yeah, that's why I was telling you this was like a bit big. <laughs> Do you find it? Do you like it? Have you eaten part of the prawns? Eh? Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. mm. And then I think on the side those are like plantain chips. You know what it tastes like? Uh huh. It has mango. It is like a passion fruit in meat box. Ah. Mm. This is like fish. Yeah, it's like fish. Hello, so I'm about to head out. I'm going to just Justin Caribbean barbecue. It's a place I've been wanting to try for so long, but today is finally the day. Um, you know, they specialize in authentic Caribbean food, and honestly, my expectations are so high. I feel like I am expecting a burst of flavors. I'm just expecting every everything in the menu to just be amazing. So yeah, that's the plan for the afternoon. I'll also be meeting my friend. I feel like life has been coming at me pretty hard and fast so any chance that i get to let you know any bit of joy to sip in trust me i am taking it a hundred percent like i even feel like i may just take some photos today because it's something i really enjoy and i'm just like you know what while i'm still in high spirits in a good mood let me take advantage of that though i mean sometimes i just feel my gallery things i never post online but it's just nice to have those reminders that you know to just see or even on my hard days that there were days I, I was also happy and stuff like that so that's what is the plan for the day i'm also wearing one of my birthday gifts this beautiful necklace i'm so excited um yeah and i guess let's go the last time that we'll be together might sneak up on us overnight Finding where we belong, you never know when we'll say goodnight. Mm -hmm. Gets me anywhere close to Jamaica. You always want to know what's going on. Respect the way we're talking now before we say it. We had more time, and I hope you don't ever lose that beautiful. Just want you to know how much you mean to me, how much I still need you. I can't lie, my heart is broken. Won't leave these things unspoken. I know you'll have to leave. I just can't believe that this is it, isn't it? This is it. This is it, isn't it? This is it. I know that we may be farther, but we will still be together for every milestone in our lives. You're all grown up, moving along. You found exactly where. You all right, so and with that, we've come to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was just you know a food vlog or whatever. Um, our experience at the Caribbean restaurant was actually pretty good. We enjoyed our food. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit hard to rate the food, but I'll just mention some of the things I liked. So I had a blueberry virgin mojito and honestly, it was really, really good. Though I feel like for someone who doesn't like stuff in their drink, you might not like it because they put in the like pureed berries inside it and it's like a huge chunk of the drink so i personally like stuff like that so that was really good for me but i think if you have a problem with such textures you probably won't enjoy it but i'm a sweet tooth it was just as sweet as i wanted it definitely recommend it um i liked the oh my god the plantains i love the plantains the specific plantains is i think they call it back banner something like that i think i'll just put the name on the screen those plantains 
they are really good it's like the way you have tempura prawns if you've had that before or you know the way you just usually mix a certain butter and then sometimes like you dip chicken or just whatever meats like fish fingers or whatever to just have that um like outer coat i don't know how to explain it <laughs> but then basically that kind of thing but now done for plantain um which i guess it's like fried before and then now they add that butter and then refry it because they were like it's double fried whatever that means but those plantains yeah those plantains are really good like they're really good I don't know if I can say those are the best plantains I've had in Nairobi, but I haven't had plantain in a while. Like at Hero, I just had like plantain chips or whatever, but plantain, plantain is been a minute. But then this one was honestly pretty good. We had, oh, yeah, so for the platter, let me just start there. The platter, we chose the full Caribbean experience, which is 3,800, and you can share it between two people. And I think if you're not so hungry, three people could even share it because we were literally so full and we even had leftovers. But then it comes with um, four meat options and then six sides. So we got, I'll start with the sides. The first one was now the plantain I've talked about. It was really good. We also got a potato salad, which was also nice. I don't think for me it like wowed me. Um, then we had the rice and beans, which are also nice. Um, what else we had the red slow which i actually really liked i'm um, usually i feel like red cabbage sometimes it's just not well done because i've had my fair share of experiences in terms of when i order some tacos and then they usually have the red cabbage i've always felt like it's just not it but this one was like mm, i actually don't mind eating this so that was nice we also had some pickled veggies i mean they were good exactly what i expected them to be Mm, oh and then we also had now the grilled sweet potatoes that's our last one they were just yeah like sweet potatoes nice nini yeah those are were our sides for the meats we chose the jack chicken which for me i feel like it was just a bit disappointing okay i don't know what i was expecting of jack chicken but for me it just felt like it was chicken prepared then they just added that whole thing on top of the chicken as opposed to something chicken that has been like marinated and prepared with the marinade and stuff like that like that was what i felt was a bit lacking and maybe was a bit dry for me um then we had the curry goat which i actually enjoyed usually i don't like goat meat because i really feel like the sometimes unless it's like like boozy trauma or something because i really feel like the smell sometimes it's just overwhelming and then it just there's always something about the smell but the fact that i could not smell it was not like goaty or something there's a time i had um like a burger with goat cheese and i felt every single like goatness i don't know how to call it but i really appreciated that i couldn't feel that in the goat curry and i really really liked it like when i was like impressed because of that we had the osobuko as well which was well done prepared the spices were good and then we had the lamb sausage which also surprised me because i also don't like lamb do you see a theme got lamb like i also really don't like it especially like i don't think i could finish an entire lamb burger like i just could not i i don't even think i've ever had like an entire portion of like lamb chops or something but this one was like ooh pleasantly surprised the lafu it also had like some spice so there's a kick to it as like mm, i'm happy about this so then it comes with two sauces we opted to uh, to pick the spicy barbecue and a pineapple sauce the plantain comes with a peanut sauce so we had like three sauces in total we recommend the spicy barbecue it was really nice yeah i think that's pretty much it uh for me i really felt like the food just you know just felt homemade nice food um something that i wouldn't mind ordering like if i was hosting people like i would make a large order like make me oh i didn't mention we had also rice and beans did i mention oh yeah i think i did um but i would actually order like because it felt like a buffet you know like when you're serving your plate and then you're like oh this is a low vibration plate kind of vibe so i really 
I was like, oh, this is something I would actually order. And if I was hosting people, like I would want those items on the menu because I felt like we had enough veggies, there's enough stew. For the meats, there's also an option of like mm, pork ribs, but we opted out of that. So yeah, mm, definitely check it out when you have time and you can let me know your experience. I think I'll just add all these details in the description box and you can always refer to it in case you are wondering. Um, yeah, I think for Hero, I probably didn't go so much into depth uh, on what we had because it wasn't my first time at Hero and the previous time I was there, you can check the video. The roles we had were, I've forgotten their names, but I asked for something similar to Tukulu roles, which I had before and I definitely recommend them. They're so good and the ones we had as well. It's just that this one felt like they added... Um, like some passion fruit on top and stuff like that but it was pretty much almost the same thing so if you order to gulu rolls you get a pretty similar experience and then we had it with the jumbo prawns which i mean was also a nice tempura prawn i always love tempura prawn it was very good and then just fries so yeah that's it uh thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, it would mean so much to me and I guess see you in the next video. Bye bye Lola, I just wanted to add uh, my friend ran a bit late today and then she bought me like candy as an apology and I'm just like oh so happy I got some chocolate very excited about that and then some sour candy and I'm just like I mean like this is a PSA to all my friends. Please whenever you run late I just Just follow this trend. Okay